Sridhar Thakur. Today we are going to be talking about class 10 science chapter reflection. Alright, so before we get into reflection, I really want to talk to you guys about how we see things. Light from a light source directly comes into my eye, it meets the retina, it touches my retina and that's how I see things. How do I see other things? How do I see something like this for example? Now, this does not give its own light, it does not emit its own light. So light from a light source comes over here and some of this light gets reflected into my eye so when light from this is coming into my eye that's what it allows me to see this which means because this is yellow it means light is hitting it only yellow light is getting reflected off of it if i take something that is green it's only the white light is hitting it again but it's only the green light that is reflecting out of it okay today i would like to talk to you about uh, what light is actually getting reflected and the nature of this light uh, when it gets reflected this will help us understand why surfaces are dull shiny why you can see images sometimes you will not be able to see images sometimes what is the actual difference between black white and other colors we actually did red blue and green so now let's get into black and white i have a black surface here and i have a white surface here when light hits a white surface all the colors of light get reflected back all the colors are getting reflected back that is why white appears white it's an amalgamation of all the colors if light hits a black surface actually most of the light is getting absorbed nothing is really getting reflected which is why it appears dark because light from it is not really reaching my eye so that's the difference between white and black which is why we are told to wear white stuff in summers because it reflects the light black absorbs it and makes you feel warmer makes you feel hotter next up is the difference between shiny and dull surfaces so i have a shiny surface over here and i have a dull surface over here okay do not confuse a shiny surface with a surface in which you see your image a shiny surface is just a highly reflective surface like this i cannot really see my image in this so this is a dull surface this is a shiny surface when light hits a dull surface a not a lot of light is being reflected which makes sense right because it's shiny a lot of light from that surface is getting reflected and you see it let's talk about the difference between a reflecting surface and a non-reflecting surface a reflecting surface like this one is actually very smooth for light it's like imagine all the balls coming in at one angle and they leave out at the same angle it's quite predictable how they are going to go it's like throwing a ball and catching it you know you pretty much know where you're going to get the ball but over here, in a surface that's not actually smooth for light, it's like throwing a ball on a very rough surface. It's an uneven surface. So even though you may throw the ball, you're, it's quite unpredictable where it bounces back. So the light is coming here and it bounces back in all different directions. And that is why the actual image is lost because it's bouncing back and all. And that is what reflection actually is. If you think of reflection, it's like hitting a surface and bouncing off. All the different sorts of colors that you see, uh, the dullness or the sh or how shiny an object is, whether you see your image or you may not see your image, all of this depends on how the light bounces off this. Alright, before we wrap this video up, there's one subtle point that I want you to take note of. Light does not always behave like a particle. So when we are talking about rays of light, we talk about this as a particle. Imagine a laser or a uh, the laser, laser does not spread out, it goes in one straight direction, it's sort of like holding a machine gun and firing bullets at a very fast rate. So you see a ray of bullets, you see a line of bullets or if you shoot water out of a water pump or a pitchkari, you see a straight line of the water. So light behaves like a particle under a lot of circumstances but it also behaves like a wave because light spreads out. So if you switch on a torch, just like this wave, you will see just as the wave spreads out in the water, light does too. So when light behaves like a wave, you can see that it spreads out. The wave spreads out, it occupies all the volume. But a particle, when I put it inside water, it doesn't really spread out. It stays there, it keeps its own space. And that's essentially the difference. There are a lot more, but that's essentially the difference that we need to understand when we understand when light is behaving like a particle and when it behaves like a wave. Since we are going to be talking about rays of light, a lot in reflection, refraction and all of our uh, and all of the content that we need to cover, uh, we need to be thinking of light as a particle and not as a wave. So let's recap. If I have a red surface, white light hits the surface and red light is reflected back into my eye. If I have a green surface, 
again white light is hitting it and green light is reflected off basically whatever the color of the surface is is the color of the light that is getting reflected off it but i want you to understand in a white surface all the colors of light are getting reflected because an amalgamation of all the colors is white and in a black surface none of the light is getting reflected most of it is getting absorbed in a shiny surface all the rays of light that hit it are getting reflected whereas in a dull surface not all of these rays are getting reflected and the most important distinction over here is between regular reflection and irregular reflection when something reflects regularly when light reflects regularly you can see your image in it it's sort of like a mirror they come in at one angle and all of the light rays leave at the same angle preserving the image however in diffused reflection or irregular reflection the rays of light bounce off in different directions and you cannot obtain an image all right so before i leave i have a curious question for you guys i have mentioned that black color absorbs all the light but over here i have a phone screen which is black but i can still see my reflection in it why does this happen if it's absorbing all the light please i would love to know your answers i would love to know your theories please put them down in the comments below and please subscribe to watch all of these videos uh, hit the bell icon to be notified so that you don't even miss a single video thanks for watching